A teenager and her desk went tumbling, and the video went viral. Now the deputy at the center of it all has been fired. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. That shocking video has people debating just how far a school resource officer should go to maintain control in the classroom. CBS 2's Jennifer Kastner shows us what officers encounter patrolling local high schools. The video of a South Carolina school deputy's confrontation with a high school student continues to gain national attention. The cell phone video shows her desk being flipped before she is slammed into the floor. There are reports she refused to give up her cell phone when officials tried to confiscate it. That's called willful defiance, according to Detective Rudy Perez, the vice president of LA School Police Officers Association. He says these types of students need to be confronted with active listeners. Start listening to why he's doing it. Is there an audience around him that needs to be eliminated? Uh, pull him aside to the, you know, have a side conversation with a counselor and a, and a school administrator of why are you acting up? What's going on here? Detective Perez has spent 14 years as a school police officer. He can't speak to the video, but tells us there are only a few situations in which he believes officers should use physical force on a student. If somebody's being hurt in a classroom, your school police officer will probably intervene uh, to stop any threat. But the student in the South Carolina video didn't appear to be a threat to anyone, just disruptive. Her attorney reports her arm is now in a cast and she's experiencing neck and back pain as well as psychological pain. We reached out to LAUSD school police about the video. What they said is their policy to not comment about active investigations outside of their district. In downtown, Jennifer Kastner, CBS 2 News.